we love it when we find sites like this where we're off grid and you know the number one question is how can we stay longer and there's two things that really come into play here uh, one is power well we've certainly got that sorted now with you know that whole roof basically one big solar panel and all that lithium in the van fantastic tick we solved that problem the next is water how do we manage our water consumption we get a little bit frugal or do we look at a way to come up with a water transfer solution now let me take you back about 18 months we're over there on the west coast ningaloo reef cape range national park stunning one of our all-time favorite experiences but we ran out of water fairly quickly I had to hook the van up drive back into town get water come back anyway during this camping uh, period i put it out to our audience have you got a water transfer solution that you can tell me about anyway fast forward another six months we're down onto the great australian bite and we meet a family there's alan carolyn and their two girls and they're like no way the feel goods we saw that episode and uh, guess what i'm a water guy i've been in irrigation for 20 years I know the solution that you're looking for. In fact, on our 18 month lap of Oz that they, they took time out to do with their girls, he had this prototype. He showed it to me and so I made a deal. I said, right, if you genuinely can get this product to market and if it really is as good as you say it is, then yeah, we'll scream it from the rooftops. And so that is exactly what I'm doing now because we've tried and tested this pump. It is a game changer for us because as their slogan, adventurepumps.com.au, is go further, stay longer. So I'm gonna take you through what you can get in this kit that uh, really does make it so unique and so special. And also gonna talk up the applications of how you can use it. Uh, now, before I get into it, being a new product launch, Alan from Adventure Pumps, I think he calls himself the Cheap Recreational Officer. Isn't that good? He has offered a 10% discount to our feel good community uh, so even if you want to go through our website thefeelgoodfamily.com or you can go directly there but make sure that you use the discount code feel good all caps one word and that way you'll get yourself a decent discount as well so thank you to adventure pumps for that i'm going to hand the camera over to katie so i can show you what's inside the kit oh there she is she wants hello look at that she even done her hair because she thought she's going to be on camera okay here it is all right now a quick mention that i want to say isn't that a great name by the way look at that yeah great logo go further stay longer this kit basically there are a two kits let's just say that there is the universal kit which is what i'm going to talk you through now and then there is also a kit that's specific for jayco off-road caravans and one is specific for that. Okay, now if you have an off-road Jayco van, then you can check out the details on the Adventure Pups web website because Alan and Caroline, they had that, that particular van. So that's why they went with that. Um, but then realized that the other half of the market, the rest of us guys would need a universal kit. So this suits pretty well most caravans and RVs out there. All right, so let's take you through that. What do you get in the bag? Let's just talk about, now there's two parts really, uh, or problems when it comes to solving your water transfer and how you're able to stay off grid longer. And that is collecting the water and then also then transferring the water from your containers, whatever that is. It could be an onboard tank, uh, jerry cans, a water bladder, and getting it then from there into your van. So two parts to the kit. Now, first up, I'll actually mention is the bag heavy duty australian made canvas bag cool design here it has got a little hole in the bottom so that the water can drain out heavy duty zip you know keep the dust and the the junk out of the the hoses as well you don't have to get these kits with the bag you can get them as loose items i'm pretty sure that most people are going to get this bag because it's purpose built for it and designed and it'll last forever so but if you have your own bag it'll save you a few dollars, totally up to you. All right, let's get into it. The first part, as I mentioned, two parts is this guy here. It's a 19 millimeter portable drinking hose. Now, this is food grade, as is the pump hose as well, which we'll get to. 
Uh, the reason why it's 19 mil diameter, he's gone for a, I guess a wider gauge, is because you want to be able to transfer that water from the water source to your containers as quick as possible and get back to doing what you love, which is hanging out at camp. There's a brass fitting on here, that's to save you threading your plastic ones. Uh, and a good tip on this is to just always have a spanner on board, which I'm sure you will have in your tool kit or whatever, um, because sometimes they tighten up fairly quickly on those fittings so that'll just make sure you're not holding up the line if you need to get that undone quickly that is the same in both kits whether you've got the jayco high flow kit uh, for the off-road vans or the universal kit that i'm here talking about now same piece of kit in both kits okay this is really what it's all about though here uh, again you've got a 12 volt fully submersible pump okay now as you can see on this end here that's a two meter food grade hose there this is a four meter cable that then gives you the alligator clips to connect straight on to your battery terminals now that could be the batteries external to your van like us our lithiums are inside it doesn't matter what type of battery they are uh, if you are going to plug them onto your vehicle your four-wheel drive or whatever it is make sure that the vehicle is turned off, okay? Don't think, oh, I'm going to need to turn the car on or the vehicle on to generate power. You don't, okay? You're just going to connect those up and then it's going to draw very minimal power. You, uh, oh gosh, I don't know, you'd need to run it for six months to run that battery flat. It barely draws any power, okay? So don't turn the vehicle on. It's just a very good tip. You don't want to cook your pump on your first outing, all right? Four meter cable. What I would suggest, and I'll do some overlay here, is that you're actually putting the pump into the container, whether that's a bucket of water, your jerry can, your bladder, as I said, and submersing it first, and then connecting up your cable on the other end, and then you're away. All right, this particular pump, all right, is going to be transferring approximately 18 litres a minute, so pretty quick, okay? That can vary depending on your van on the inlet, uh, valves on your actual van or how it's transferring but basically 18 litres a minute on the Jayco version uh, because they have completely different plumbing set up there on those um, off-road Jaycos you're getting I think something like 35 litres a minute so it's super quick still very quick with the universal as well okay I'm going to show you the applications and make sure you understand that also in the kit here uh, you've got your different fittings. This is to obviously stick straight into the, the water fill point if you've got that. Nifty little tap on here as well so that you can control the flow if you need to slow it down a little bit or give it full burl. Uh, a couple of other fittings there. Uh, some very good tech if you're interested in all of that on the submersible pump, the information from the manufacturer. And of course we all love stickers. Big kids, little kids. Sticker for the kids and that's your canvas bag there with the clear top all right now let's talk about the application so if you're like me and you don't want to be hurting your back getting these jerry cans out of your vehicle and onto the ground what is great is that you can transfer to and from the water from them stationary in your actual vehicle so i'm going to show you that now uh, obviously you can also pull those jerry cans out and i'll give you a demo on that or as i mentioned you can even submerge it straight into a bucket of water you can put it into a bladder a really good tip here okay is to look at these particular jerry cans that i've got here these are from an australian company it's called pro quip you can visit their website and find out where all their retailers are. But what's great is that this is a 47 mil diameter mouth here, or it's called a wide mouth. My dad calls it the wide mouth frog. Army green, BPA free. What's great is that you're not gonna get sunlight penetration into this container like some of the clear ones, which means you, you, you remove that risk of getting bacteria and algae growth in there. Um, so yeah, good idea to spend the dollars and get a good product. ProQuip, I'd recommend that. But this pump is actually going to fit into there. The first, I guess, containers that I had, it didn't fit. So, you know, bit of a rookie mistake. Don't make that mistake. Get the right ones and get good quality ones. Just on that as a side note, just looking at the ProQuip website, 
they suggested that when you aren't using these, you can actually store water in these containers for up to six months, which is remarkable, okay? As long as it's in a, a dry, dark place, you know you're not gonna sit out in the sun. Uh, six months, amazing. But if you need to store these empty and you wanna dry them out, first thing to do is to put a teaspoon of bicarb soda in there with about 500 ml of water for every 500 ml of water, fill them up, leave it sit for 30 minutes, that bicarb will get rid of all of that carry on and germs or any bacteria, and then tip it upside down and let it air dry so that it's completely moisture free, and then you can, you can do it up and it's good to go. All right, just a tip there for you. Let's now actually do the process and show you each of the applications that we've got on board here and how we do it. One more thing I'm gonna mention, because I think this is fantastic, is that, the universal standard kit comes with the alligator clips, like so. Now, we've got our zone van. There is an Anderson point right at the water fill point on our van. And in a lot of vans now, Anderson plugs are getting installed into whether that's your vehicle or your van. So having an adapter for your Anderson is a great idea. So Alan has just bought out this one as well. And check out the details online, but basically then you can use Anderson, or if you haven't got that, then you can also then just plug in the alligator clips like so. And coming soon, all right, keep an eye on his website, is this little guy, check that out, okay? It's a 12 volt socket and plug. I guess the old schoolers like myself, old timers will call that the Siggy lighter adapter. And that too goes to an Anderson. So that also will be available soon on his website as well. So he's thought of everything, isn't that fantastic? All right, let's give you a bit of a demo on all of this working. And you can check it out again, adventurepumps.com.au or visit our website. Don't forget your discount code, absolute game changer. Thanks, Adventure Pumps. Okay, let me show you exactly what I do using a standard kit, the universal kit with the alligator clips. All right, first things first is to submerse the pump. Let's do that. All right, boom. There you go. You can see it's gonna fit perfectly there in the wide mouth. Excellent. Next, which I, I have to say is such a good design feature for Zone is that they fill points are already all here, clearly labelled. We are almost empty, so again, go further, stay longer. Sounds like the perfect husband, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go, click straight on like so. That's just a dust cover there. All right, and then final piece to the puzzle, vehicle is definitely turned off, is to connect to your power source, which in this case is our battery terminals. Boom like so and boom now we'll come over it is whisper quiet okay i don't know if you can even hear that but let's pull it out and i'll show you the pump there we go boom and you'll hear it it takes a few seconds for it to actually prime and then it kicks in you'll hear that tone of the pump change and again you're looking at 18 litres per minute at its fastest, most optimal speed. And again, that'll change depending on really the plumbing on your van. Uh, a good tip as well is that when it gets to the end, just tip it down onto a slight angle and let it really, in effect, suck out the remaining uh, amount of water that will be settled down in the corner. You can hear that now, okay? So it's down in the last bits. Fantastic. I've also just set up for you here a bucket of water, okay? Because let's say you don't have the right jerry cans or you want to wash the back of the van or you want to have an outdoor shower or you want to wash the dog. I mean, once you've got this kit, the uses are really up to, you know, your application, your need, your creativity. But for us watching outdoor movies, cleaning the back of the van, this is a perfect solution. So again, being the submersible pump and being such a good quality pump, it'll work every time you pull it out of the kit. Okay, final feature, if you remove the filter cap off here, you can see it actually can be an inline pump as well, which means if you've got an onboard tank like we have, you can just connect that straight into the tank and draw the water out and into your van. Isn't that a fantastic feature? 
check it out on our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. Don't forget to use your discount code. Happy days, happy camping. Thanks, Adventure Pumps. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no!